Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing in detail everything there is to know about Adobe. Since the last time I have uploaded a similar video on Microsoft, I have been bombarded with requests to make a similar video for Adobe. So here it is. In today's video, I will be discussing in detail about the different offices of Adobe in India, the tech stack in which the engineers in Adobe's work, the work-life balance as well as the work culture of Adobe. Apart from that, I will also discuss the salary structure of employees of Adobe, the software engineering level in Adobe, as well as the years of experience required at each software engineering level, and the most awaited salary breakup at each of these levels. If you're liking my content so far, then please do show me some love and like this video and share it among your friends as much as possible. If you have not subscribed already, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It will help me a lot. If you want me to make other videos about other companies with complete salary detail, then mention them in the comment below and I will make a point to make those videos for you. And without further ado, let's get started. We will start by discussing the different office locations of Adobe in India. In India, there are two major offices of Adobe which caters to software development engineers. One is located in Noida and the other one is located in Bangalore, of which Noida is the headquarters of Adobe in India. The work culture in Adobe is very much similar to that of Microsoft. Most of the teams which are present in Adobe has extremely good work-life balance as per the employee survey that is conducted every year in Adobe. I have personally never heard anyone from the organization to ever complain about work-life balance in Adobe. Not only this, Adobe is also a very employee-centric company and it has a host of benefits for its employees. One of the major benefits that Adobe has for its employees is also known as ESPP, which is known as Employee Stock Purchase Plan, which means that the employees of Adobe are allowed to purchase Adobe shares at a highly subsidized price up to 25% of their base salary. So it means that if you are an employee of Adobe, apart from getting the stock grants that the company will be providing to you as part of your offer, you can convert some part of your base salary and use that to purchase Adobe shares at a highly subsidized rate than what is being traded in the market. Now, let us come and discuss about the tech stack of Adobe. Most of the legacy systems that are present in Adobe are based on C++ being the core backend language, being the core backend language. On the other hand, there are some uh, newer solutions, newer product, newer features that they are working on. And these are generally Java based, having some part of cloud tech in it. But for most intents and purposes, the tech stack is heavily C++ based. We will talk about the different levels that are present in the Adobe hierarchy for software engineers and what is the years of experience required to get into Adobe at those levels. So the Adobe nomenclature of these levels are a bit different than that of rest of the industry. In Adobe, the levels are as follows. It starts with MTS1, which is known as Member Technical Staff 1. Then we have MTS2, which is Member Technical Staff 2. Then uh, we have a CS1, which is Computer Scientist 1. Then we have CS2, which is Computer Scientist 2. Then we have Senior CS, which is Senior Computer Scientist and so on and so forth. Here in this video, we will limit our discussion till Senior CS1. Now let's come to Member Technical Staff 1. Member Technical Staff 1 directly maps to an SDE1 level at any company. The years of experience required to get in to Adobe at Member Technical Staff 1 varies in between zero to two years. I will be discussing about the compensation breakup after I give you the detail of the compensation structure a little later in the video. For member technical staff 2, the mapping is a bit different. Member technical staff 2 maps to higher SDE1 and lower SDE2 in most of the companies. The years of experience required to be hired at MTS2 varies, generally varies around one and a half year to around three and a half to four years. Next comes Computer Scientist 1. Now Computer Scientist 1 completely maps to an SDE2 level 
for Amazon. Here as well, the years of experience required to be hired at Computer Scientist 1 is somewhere between three and a half years of experience to around six and a half years of experience. Now we come to Computer Scientist 2. It is the next level after Computer Scientist 1. And this does not directly map to any of the regions. Computer Scientist 2 maps with higher SDE2 and lower SDE3 for most of the companies. This mapping is not with respect to compensation, but with respect to the scope of the work, the role that that person actually performs in the company for their day-to-day -day life. From a compensation point of view, it is completely different and we will discuss that. The years of experience required to get hired into Adobe at Computer Scientist 2 level is somewhere between 7 years to around 11 years. Now we will discuss about Senior Computer Scientist 1, which is the next level after Computer Scientist 2. Senior Computer Scientist 1 directly maps to an SDE3 role at most of the companies. The years of experience required to get hired into Adobe at Senior CS1 is around 11 years. Now we will discuss the unique compensation structure for Adobe. Although it is quite similar to what we have in Microsoft, the ranges in the numbers and the years of vesting is a bit different in Adobe. The compensation structure for employees in Adobe generally consists of five things. Number one, the base salary, which is the salary that you get at the end of each month. Second is the new higher stock grant, which is a one-time stock grant that is given to its employees by Adobe at the time when you are hired. This shares that are given to you is given for the next four years, where at each year you will get 25% of that entire chunk. The third part is performance bonus which is basically cash bonus that is given to its employees based upon an employee performance at the time of appraisal. The fourth component is the performance-based stock bonus. So this is basically a number of shares that is given to you based upon your performance. The resting period for the performance-based stock bonus is also four years, which means this quantity is divided by four and you will be getting 25% of this quantity for the next four years. The fifth component is uh, joining bonus, also known as retention bonus, which is given only for the first year or for the first couple of years in Adobe. We will not be considering the joining bonus for our compensation calculations. Now the wait is over. We will discuss in detail exact salary breakup at each of these levels. We will start with MTS1, which is Member Technical Staff 1. In Member Technical Staff 1, the average base range is somewhere between 11 lakhs to around 14 lakhs. The new higher stock grant for MTS1 is generally fixed around $20,000 which is also equivalent to somewhere around 16 lakh rupees, which means 4 lakh every year. The performance-based cash bonus is fixed at 10% across all the levels in Adobe. Obviously, this 10% is the average case. The fourth component is performance-based stock bonus, which at MTS1 level is somewhere around 10,000 US dollars for the next four years. So the average yearly in-hand compensation containing the base salary, the yearly stock, the yearly bonus as well as yearly refresher at Adobe for MTS1 level is somewhere around 19 lakhs to around 22 lakhs. Now we will discuss about the compensation details of MTS2 level. The yearly base salary range for MTS2 is somewhere between 14 lakhs to 21 lakhs. Apart from that, the average on higher stock grant for MTS2 level lies somewhere between $20,000 to $40,000. Apart from that, the blanket 10% performance cash bonus is there as well as performance-based stock bonus is $20,000 on an average for MTS2. So the yearly compensation for MTS2 lies somewhere between 23 lakhs to 35 lakhs in Adobe. Again, all the compensation that I'm talking about here is one year compensation. It is the money that you will be getting in every year. Now we will discuss about the compensation detail for CS1, which is Computer Scientist 1. For CS1, the average base salary lies in this uh, lies in the range of 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs. The average on higher stock grant also varies between $30,000 to around $80,000. Not only this, the performance-based cash component is again 10% here and the performance-based stock bonus is $30,000, which is again given to you in four installments in the next four years. So the average yearly 
in hand compensation for computer scientist one in adobe is somewhere in between 33 lakhs per year to around 54 lakhs per year now we will go ahead and discuss about computer scientist two level in adobe for the computer scientist two the average base salary range is around 30 lakhs to 45 lakhs apart from that the average new hire stock grant is somewhere between seventy thousand dollars to around hundred thousand dollars which means it is somewhere in between 50 lakhs to around 75 lakhs apart from that they are also given 10 percent performance based cash bonus which is same at all the levels in adobe and a forty thousand dollar performance based stock bonus as well for cs2 the average yearly in hand compensation range varies somewhere between 50 lakhs to around 70 lakhs for adobe now we will discuss about the compensation breakdown for senior computer scientist the average base salary for senior computer scientist one ranges in between 43 lakhs to around 60 lakhs apart from that they are given a new higher stock grant which varies in between 75 lakhs to around one crore along with it a 10 percent performance bonus is given to them and the performance based stock bonus is somewhere around fifty thousand dollars or 35 lakhs which is given to them in four installments in the next four years so the total yearly compensation for senior computer scientist one in india is somewhere between 73 lakhs to around one crore yes you heard that right and if we progress to further more senior levels the salary compensation will genuinely increase so one crore salaries are definitely possible in India. Now, coming to salary negotiations, Adobe is pretty fixed on the base component of the salary. So your best bet to negotiate salary while you have an Adobe offer is to increase your joining bonus or increase your new hire stock grant because they are very flexible in giving huge amount of new hire stocks to its employees. Now coming to an overall conclusion on uh, Adobe as a company, then I would say that Adobe as a company is extremely good. It has free food, they work on some challenging products that they have which has a worldwide acceptance. Although uh, there are quite a bit legacy products that is present there, which is written in C++, but then legacy products are present almost in every company. Well, not only this, the work-life balance is pretty relaxed. The work pressure is also pretty less in Adobe. It is a good company to work at if you want a good work-life balance. Apart from this, you have heard about the compensation detail of each level present in the software development engineer hierarchy, and the pay is also quite good. Not only this, the stock of Adobe as well as the employee stock purchase plan is actually an added bonus which increases your compensation further because you have a possibility to buy shares at a lower price than the market and sell them at market price. So all in all, I would say that Adobe is a great company to work at. That will be it for this video. I really, really hope that you love the content that I am creating. If you want me to review any other company, then please comment down below. I will definitely take that up. Uh, it, a huge amount of research has gone into in making these videos. So please do like this video and share it among your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I will be making more similar videos in the near future and uploading them regularly. This is Soumya Jadbarin. Goodbye. Das Vidanya.